What is going on everyone? My name is Northy and it has been a little bit of a long time, uh, so I guess long time no see, but I'm here with some good news for you guys. Of course today, we're opening up some team coaches. Grand final week, so hopefully it's going to be a good video here today. Surprisingly, Sydney versus Brisbane. I did not see it coming, uh, both outside of Victoria uh, in the states that are not AFL heavy, but uh, it's going to be an exciting one. Brisbane, the fact they've managed to make it is a massive surprise in Sydney, even after the small struggles have managed to fulfill their number one spot, I guess, expectations. So that's going to be an exciting game, but of course we've got some packs of team coaching. You'll notice that I've got a box because I am finally revealing that tomorrow we are going to be having Northeast Month of Team Coach giveaway live stream. I've got another box with me to the left that I'm going to be opening up on stream and then revealing to you guys who the winners of Northeast Month of Team Coach are. Man, it's been a while since I've mentioned that, uh, but it should have happened a while ago and we are finally here to do so. So thank you guys so much for staying patient and staying tuned in. I've got both the giveaways that are going to be announced and uploaded, the channel of course, but Instagrams as well, that'll be up there as well for you guys to figure out who wins over there so thank you guys so much for sticking around and showing your support uh, let's see though we've got ourselves 12 packs today hopefully some good stuff so be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new everything is always very very much appreciated and uh, we can only hope that today is a good one for us all right so here's the box and uh, obviously we're not opening the entire box today as much as I wish we could be uh, <laughs> just getting into the 12 here today uh, and it'll be a nice little unboxing Boxing because yeah, it has been a while after the massive month we had opening all this stuff up We're now jumping back into weekly videos uh, after a long break uh, It's been a good while, but uh, I'm glad that I'm sticking back into it uh, It's just been a mix of you know making sure that I'm on top of my uh, other responsibilities in life As well as the fact that oh, no, I can get a break every now and then I feel like it's allowed <laughs> Let's see though. What are we gonna get in this one here today? We've got ourselves the usual setup for a box but uh, let's see, hopefully something nice here today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Man, this is gonna be a lot. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot more than I think I expected, but uh, nonetheless, I don't think anyone's complaining. Getting your hands on Team Coach is always an exciting thing, especially because it's almost impossible, if not impossible to find it now. It's been very, very tough, but uh, yeah, this week is going back to the usual stuff. I plan to have my own type of video up Uploaded later on in the week, uh, like a different type of uh, video compared to the usual pack openings you get. Uh, footy stars this weekend as well. Also planning to open up a AFLW team coach box. Uh, that one is one I wanted to get to a bit earlier, but haven't been able to until just now. So let's see, what have we got in today's 12 bear boys? It would be nice to see something big. Uh, with 12, you'd expect at least a box hit. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not going to go, you know, begging for anything. We'll find out though. What are we starting off with today? We got Brody Grundy here in the first one. Then we got Clary, Clayton Oliver, and we've got ourselves. It is a defensive dynamo. Callum Wilkie, silver star powers to start ourselves off. With a Zach Butters, uh, we got his skill in there with a Maxi King, Harris Andrews, Jake Lieber, Brad Crouch, and Tom DeConing. But a few things I want to point out. Poor Adelaide, stay disappointing me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad at it. Port is just one of those teams that gets on my nerves, but man, they are they are useless, it feels like sometimes. They cannot fulfill their needs and fulfill the expectations they put upon themselves. Win that many games in the in the AFL season, finish second, and then get beaten on their home turf by Geelong, and then get what? Who'd they beat? They beat Hawthorne by three, <laughs> and then get pumped by Sydney. Man, it just makes sense. We got Jamar Eugle Hagen in there, Ben Hobbs, and we are seeing a Will Day Silver best and fairest in this one as well. No real need for these best and fairest anymore. These are basically useless to me now. Uh, we also have Andy Brayshaw in there as well, the Andy Brayshaw Scanlon. It's been a while since I've opened up packs, man. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Jack Darling, who looks to be a North Melbourne kangaroo very, very soon. Um, I'll take it. Look, it's nice that players want to come to North. Uh, I will always take that. And he's some forward experience, hopefully. Some eyes away from Larky. But we've got Mason Redman, Noah Anderson, Cody Waitman, and Asava Radigalia. That's one thing I really hope Jack Darling brings to the to the ruse, is that if he does come here, I hope he, do, he just almost provides a distraction so that no one's really on Larky. And Jack Darling 
if uh, they're too heavy on Larky, he can then pop off, which would be great to see. He's not in his prime like he used to be, but hey, I'm always going to take some players who want to come over to North Melbourne. Uh, maybe a few more, who knows? I honestly don't know whether we'll find any more. Um, there's been a few inklings here and there, but like one of them was Luke Parker. I don't think Luke Parker will come to North. Uh, mainly because of how well he's doing at Sydney. He seems to have his spot pretty much wrapped up there. But we got LDU Silver here to start. Andy McGrath. And we are seeing a Melbourne card craft. We've got the number one, Cozzy Pickett. Not too bad. With a Tim Taranto Scanlins, Jamie Elliott, Tom Green, Angus Brayshaw, Scott Pendlebury, and Matt Crouch. But uh, I guess on the other hand, I think I talked a little about Sydney. But I want to talk about Brisbane as well. Because Brisbane, they are so so unexpectedly insane this year like they have had an incredible final series honestly they're my tip to win it i think in the sydney brisbane grand final i think brisbane is going to tip it one they've just come off a grand final sure sydney is only one year ago as well but it's the battle of the previous two losers and i think that's a really really interesting matchup one team is going to lose two in either back-to-back -back years or two and three years and uh the other one is going to break the hoodoo uh because you know both of these guys lost their recent grand finals, so one of them gets revenge. It's going to be really, really exciting. But we've got Nick Newman Silver, Mitch Lewis Silver, and we're seeing it is a mighty Andy Brayshaw star powers. Nothing crazy there. Paddy Dangerfield Scanlon in there too. Isaac Heaney, who's having an incredible final series. Bailey Dale, Ivan Soldo, Elliot Yo, and Tom Lynch in there. I think I'm going to go Brisbane, but yeah, the fact they finished fifth and have now turned it into a second grand final after the really, really shaky start to the year. Seriously, incredible, incredible final series for Brisbane. And just as much for Sydney, both teams have been absolutely electric. One took the harder road to get there, but you know, you can't really blame uh, Brisbane for what they've done. They've got uh, multiple weeks on the go. They are ready, fit, in form, and I mean, hopefully for their sake. It turns, it turns out to be an entertaining game. I don't know if Brisbane fans want to deal with another close grand final. I think they'd much rather absolutely blow it out of the water. But back-to-back -back grand finals is something they should be very proud of. We've got Mason Cox Silver, Eric Hipwood Silver, and we've got Josh Fischelli, the Ratcher the Ripper, or is that Rasher the Ripper? We're going to... I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> we got Tom Lynch, got his Scanlins in there too, Callum Mills, Mitch Duncan, Mitch Lewis, Ollie Wines, and Zach Merritt. But obviously, Sydney are the number one team. They have been favourites since they really got away from the pack earlier this year, even though they have looked shaky at times and have lost that status. They're at the grand final. They've done what they were supposed to do and get here. Now it's about turning a minor premiership into an actual premiership. And uh, I think they're favourites. I think most people are expecting them to do it. But I'm not too sure about that. It really could go either way. I think at Sydney's best, they are good all over the ground. But that's, of course, the same for Brisbane. It's just both teams have had their low points. Brisbane to start the year, not great. And then Sydney towards the end of the year, not as great. So we'll see how this one turns out. We've got Bailey Smith, silver though. We've got Lukey Jackson here as well. And we've got a gold. It's Mr. Brian Myers for the Geelong Cats. Now, that was one I was very surprised about. Honestly, I was expecting the Cats to win. I thought it was going to be a really boring game because I went to the 22 prelim that Geelong beat Brisbane and it was such a bad game. We've got Josh Dunkley scared Allen's in there too, Nasai Wangane Miller, Eric, Eric Kipwood, Nick Larky, Michael Frederick, and Jack Ginnivan. But I went to that game and it wasn't as good as uh, I kind of hoped. So I thought this one would be similar, but Brisbane, they're just they're just on something this year, man. I mean, that would absolutely break a lot of the nerves that I think they may have had. Knowing that they lost to Geelong by that much two years ago in the same place at the same time in the same game. That would have been on their minds, and they beat them. They did what they needed to do. Like, that is such a... Like, they both have great stories, both Sydney and Brisbane. I really wouldn't be mad at either team winning. I really wouldn't. We've got Tristan Sherry Silver, Liam Baker Silver, and we've also got the Jason Horn Francis Next Gen Silver. The only one I would have been mad at is if Port had made it. And I tipped Port. I thought Port were going to make it all the way this year. Of course, uh, the minute you put faith in that team, they let you down. But we've got Cam Zerha Scanlans, Adam Trelaw, Toby Nankervis, Charlie Ballard, Aaron, Aaron Norton, and Carl Amon. I am both surprised and not surprised. I thought Port would get over that hurdle finally, but... I mean, after that game against, like, I think it was Geelong, I just went, yeah, these guys suck. <laughs> I'm sorry, poor fans, but it's just the case. Your team keeps choking, and 
My fear for them is that they're gonna turn out to be, ooh, this is a really weird pack. There's at least four at the front. I think there's three silvers here. I think there's three silvers. We'll find out in a sec, but they're doing what North used to do, where they'd get so far so often, but couldn't get that hurdle to the grand final. And that's their hurdle right now. Port's hurdle is the grand final. They can't even make it there. That's really worrying for them. We've got Cam Guthrie, silver. They may even be losing Dan Houston. Uh, we've got Dan Houston, silver. And I thought so. We got three silvers here. I, I, I said so. We got Jacob Van Royen in there. And we are seeing. It's a gold best in first. You got Mr. Zach Merritt in there. Very nice. That is a one in every 40. Very, very good indeed. Uh, excited to open up the AFLW team, coach, because I think there's three in each box. Kind of crazy, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> We've got Errol Gould and Silver in there too. Matt Rao, Jeremy Cameron, Ruben Gibby, Roy Sloan, and Dusty. Man, that news too. The fact that Dusty could be coming back to Gold Coast. It's been so long since I recorded one of these videos that there's just been news that, have that has come out that I haven't been able to talk about, that I get to go through all of it. I get to talk about all of it. Uh, <laughs> Let's see though, what else have we got in here? Got ourselves Cozzy Pickett, Silver to start. Then we've got Ben Key Silver. Why does he not look so happy? That's a, that's a shame. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> North Melbourne Fantasy 1, baby! LDU! That is a very, very good pull. Happy days indeed! Hey, hey! One in every two boxes. And then Luke Jackson Scanlans, Tim Kelly, Andrew McGrath, Tom Papley, Paddy Dangerfield, and Alir Alir. That's not bad. We got, what, three packs left and two hits? I'm happy indeed. This is why I love opening 12 packs. Because 12 packs gets to include stuff like that. And uh, it makes all this very, very fun. Very enjoyable. Let's see. What else do we got? We got Harry Himmelberg Silver in here. Bailey Smith Silver. And the Noah Anderson Silver Best and Fairest. I thought there was going to be a third silver for some reason. That's why I <laughs> revealed it so quickly. We've got the Noah Anderson Best and Fairest with a Took Miller Scanlans. A Jared Witts. Connor Rosie, Brian Myers, Daniel Rioli, and Chad Warner. I think my tip is going to be Brisbane by a goal. I think that's my tip for the grand final. But again, I just hope it's close and it's a good game. It would be awesome to have another one like last year where it could go either way. And honestly, probably it was two of the more likable teams this year in Brisbane and Sydney. Uh, wouldn't have been able to do it if Port made it. If Geelong made it, wouldn't, been, wouldn't have been happy at all. Uh, I would have been happy with Hawthorne. Probably would have been happy with the Dogs. Carlton, maybe not. Uh, it would have been an 8th place, so if they made it from 8th, that would have been great. But no one really thought Carlton would get that far. So, I mean, they were kind of expected to bounce out early. we got Bradley Hill, Silver. Josh Dunkley, Silver. And we're seeing another Silver. It's the Harry Sheasel, Silver Mighty. Speaking of, LDU won the best and fairest for North Melbourne, which was interesting. Thought it would have been Sheasel or Sherry, but... Davies Uniac wins it. Hopefully that means uh, it convinces him to stay a bit longer. Would be nice to see that. Uh, maybe an extension, hopefully. We got Nick Dacos, Scanlans, Todd Marshall, Jeremy McGovern, Dion Prestia, Tim English, and Will Day coming in there as well as we jump to the last pack of the video. It's been good to chat. It's been good to talk everything AFL related. It's always good fun. But let's see. Can we finish off on a high note? We got Liam Duggan Silver, Tom Lynch Silver, and our final insert is going to be. It's a goal. It's Charlie Kerno, the two-time Coleman medalist. Not the previous year's Coleman medalist, uh, but that is okay. A good player nonetheless. And we've got Tim Kelly Scanlon in there too, with a Sam Collins, Cam Guthrie, Jane Forpel, Liam Ryan, and Jake Stringer to finish off today's episode. And that's where I'm going to finish off the video here for today. So, two very, very nice cards indeed. Nothing too out of the world, but... Uh, you will absolutely take these ones. Camera won't, apparently. That's all right. Uh, that's about as close as we'll get, I reckon. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's been good to open up some more packs. Really in the mood to keep it up regularly now. Uh, yeah, we've got everything ready to do so. I've got my footy stars packs here. I've got my uh, next box for the stream. I've got the AFLW team coach box next to me. Uh, can I show any information here? Yeah, I can. There you go. That's the team coach box. So <laughs> nonetheless, uh, I'm keen to get back into it this week. Hopefully, you guys... Uh, stay tuned in, stay watching, and I will hopefully see you all very, very soon for another one. Goodbye.